Pony X, sorry, it's been a little bit. I'm recording this sitting on my bed, getting ready to head to work, but I wanted to try and record this. Uh, Selena Gomez posted a picture to her Instagram, and it's been making their circles around the internet, and I think there might be some clues to it back in there, so we're gonna go over it and see what we can get. Let's get into it. Everything that can meet anything is in the top right corner of the picture, and as you can see, it is the podcaster's murder board. At the top, I gotta say, this guy that's on it, I don't know who he is. I've seen this show quite a few times. Uh, I don't think it's someone that we've seen before. I think he's a new player that will come up in season three, and we will just have to figure out who he is when that time comes. We do see a picture of Meryl Streep's character, Loretta, and I theorize that she was likely the killer. You can check out that video later. But this tells us that the trio are looking at her as a possible perpetrator of Ben Glenroy's demise. Mm. And again, if anything, I think we'll have to do with something that those two, Loretta and Ben Glenroy, have in the past. We also see a picture of Ben Glenroy's body. Uh, it looks like there might be some kind of stringiness to it. I can't tell what's going on here. Uh, this picture isn't the best quality when you zoom in so far. So we know what Ben Glenroy's bite looks like. We're not going to pay attention to that too much. But we are going to talk about the last two items, which I think are very important. Bear with me, because there's going to be a lot of conjecture. First, hanging on the board, we have this baby rag that has little rattles on it. And I pointed this out in the teaser trailer for Meryl Streep that we had about two months ago. Charles is holding it in front of Mabel at the elevator. But what does this have to do with Ben Glenroy's murder? Well, that ties into number two. The other thing here is this note, and it's really hard to read. I, I tried to sharpen it up, but it was not doing anything whatsoever the first word i can tell for sure is ruby the rest of it i'm not sure but what i think it says is ruby slippers lipstick ruby slippers lipstick is a brand and a shade of lipstick that is well known amongst lipstick wearers i'm assuming well it's it's a known brand or shade that is out there but what does lipstick and a baby rag have to do with each other? Why was Charles holding it? Or what if someone wiped off lipstick with this baby rag? But that's no big thing. But killing someone with a kiss is a trope that I've seen in lots of films and TV shows. Um, at the top of my head, I know it's been in Game of Thrones and even Batman and Robin. I think it happened in a James Bond film. Someone puts poison on their lips, gives someone a kiss, and then they wipe their mouth with it so they don't get sick from it. So it's possible that this rag, this baby rag, has this ruby red lipstick on it, and this is something that Mabel or someone else pointed out. Another possible parallel is at the end of season two when Joy kisses Charles. Her lipstick gets smeared on his face, and she wipes it off. This could hint to her possibly being the killer, her doing the same thing. Um, I'm not really sure, but she is on my radar because obviously Charles had some kind of grudge against Ben, and as Joy is his girlfriend, she is someone that he would definitely defend. And of course, again, the poster next to Ben Glenroy's room, the bright red lips, with the blood drop on the side, hinting at the possibility of a killer kiss. Uh, so what do you guys think? Did I read this note wrong? Is there a possibility that this baby rag has lipstick on it and that's how Ben was killed? Was there some kind of a parallel or confirmation about this with Joy wiping lipstick from Charles' mouth last season? Or am I just talking out of my booty hole either way let me know your thoughts below and if you got a better translation for the note uh, give it to me i'm all ears either way thank you guys for watching my name is dallas and i'll catch you on the rooftop